Welcome to another PC Sports Cards PSA Submission Reveal. This is Josh with PC Sports Cards, and we have another old submission for you today. We have Bulk 2021.120. Oh. We sent that out February of last year, end of February, February 25th. So the last kind of cards that were going in, it was marked as received 428, and it popped on 517. We got it back, now we're working through it, and we're going to start sending it back to our customers. But we wanted to show you what they sent in and what they sent to grade into consignment. So, first of all, let me tell you, this entire customer's order, this first one that we're going to go through, all of his cards went from grade into consignment. Just so you guys know, grade into consignment is when you send us cards um, for grading, and then we sell, then you have us sell the cards on eBay for you, and that actually pays for your submission. So you have no money out of pocket, and at the end, most likely, you're going to get some money sent to you. Uh, some of the orders from, some of the ultra-modern orders, maybe not, but most of them, you're going to be getting back to you. This, this one definitely is a profitable one, even though some of these cards we would not recommend sending in right now. Um, just so you haven't, if you haven't done it already, if you like seeing these videos, hit that subscribe button, click the little bell, get alerts, make sure you like, comment whether you agree, disagree. Tell us how you feel. We're here to interact. If you look back at any of our videos, we always reply to comments. We want to make these as interactive as possible, give you our feedback, give you our insight into what's going on in the hobby, what's going on in the market, and uh, go through some orders. So this customer hit one really good one, hitting the Joe Burrow Prism PSA 10, tough grade, great card, great player. So that, that, that card alone will cover a lot of his submission. Remember, this was at $15 a card, ultra modern, back last February. So, the comment that we have and the question, the main topic that we're going to talk about, we only have two cards that we're going to bring up topics about today, but the main topic we're going to talk about is just what are your general thoughts on the market and on the hobby today? Um, I'm recording this on Friday, May 20th. It's going to go, it's going to be up on Tuesday or Monday, I haven't decided which day I'm going to put it up yet, but it's going to go up either one of those days, and we saw last night, I don't know how many of you are in the high-end market, but we saw last night the PWCC auction end, and then we have a big golden auction ending, and Alt put up some big cards in their auction, we have some monsters running on eBay, um, so I really want to dive in, and we're going to do it after our first topic, I really want to dive into feelings on the market today, where it's going, how it is, talk about do we think that we're in the bottom of a cycle, like the normal cycle, because we're we're getting close to that normal cycle where a lot of baseball stuff is up, which you'll see by the first, time, first card that I show you, and a lot of the other sports like basketball and football are starting to tick down, which if you're new to the hobby or you came in in 2020, 2021 when everything was going up more often than not, you, you haven't seen that, right? You saw mostly just straight up, but in times of the past, when seasons end, prices go down. When, when team season end, so when the Hawks get eliminated from the playoffs, Trey Young goes down. When the Grizzlies get eliminated from the playoffs, John ja Morant goes down. No matter what, that's just what we see, right? It's like, what's the shiny toy in front of us? And now baseball is the shiny toy in front of us. So... By the way, I didn't forget to take that button down. This customer literally sent all 56 cards that they sent us in. They sent every single one to consignment. So they got a little extra discount for doing that. They got, I think, I think we do 50 cents off a card if you send the entire order to consignment. So they saved 28 bucks right there. And uh, then they'll sell, we'll sell all these cards for them. A lot of Kyle loses. Tops Chrome, guys. We know what the story of Tops Chrome is. So. We're getting over to our first topic, which is going to be Jordan Alvarez, which is coming up very, very soon. I'll actually bring up the uh, screen for it, Randy Arias Arena. A lot of these guys were super hot November, December last year, 2020, going into 2021. So that's why people sent these in. Arias Arena right now sells for 20 bucks as a PSA 10, you know, 15 to grade it. So even if you bought it for three or four bucks, you're barely making anything. Luckily... Tops Chrome is a very, very easy product to grade. So, on to our first topic. Sell your base, your Dent Alvarez, today. Right? All right, let me, 
I remember I could do this now, right? So we're going to move out a little bit so we can still see the whole card, right? So we have Jordan Alvarez base chrome PS PSA 10. So if you look, 7,100 graded, 5,600 are PSA 10s, and 1,500 are PSA 9s. That leaves us with under 50. Under 50 are less than a 9. So two parts of this. First of all, you know you're getting at least a 9 on this card, right? Unless you notice some damage, you know you're getting a 9 on this card. The card is very inexpensive, raw, and sells for 35 to 40 bucks right now. 32.49 was the most recent one. We see a plus 21% growth rate on this. Why I'm saying to sell it, everybody else has these in. We have two. We have three. We have four. We have four right here. I'm sure there's more in other orders, right? Sell them now, and what you do, you sell them, you take your money from those sales, and you buy yourself, if you want Jordan Alvarez, something like a purple. Purple's number to 299. Not our favorite color, limited print run. If somebody wants to get limited print run cards, they're going to have to start paying more for them. Can I trade six base for one purple? Yes. Right? That seems like a great trade. And then look below, only 38 PSA 10s out of 64 graded. So not even the same... Not even the same gem rate on that, right? So what we're saying is sell your non-numbered, even if they're short prints almost, sell those non-numbered cards and move them into something that's numbered that's a little bit harder to find, right? Sell it into something better. Then you could have your cake and eat it too and you didn't pay as much for it, especially take advantage of these old orders. Don't let, don't let the old orders fool you, right? If you like Alvarez, who's having a crazy year right now compared to Soto, like compare his career stats to Soto and compare the prices, it's insane. So that, that's point one, right? Point one is sell. Sell your lower end, high pop, potentially even higher pop. That might be a 10,000 pop card when it's all said and done into something better, right? And then something that we touched on last time is evaluating cards, right? You're paying somebody to tell you that these cards are most likely going to be a nine or better. We just showed you that 99% of these cards are nines or better. When you look at this submission as a whole, we have 56% PSA 10s and 35% PSA 9s. Quick math, 91% are nines or better. So you're paying somebody an additional 10% grading cost to maybe tell you that you can't see an obvious flaw. You'll see something if it's worse than a nine. You'll see it every single time. You may not believe it, but you will see it every single time. All right, next up we have, this is cool. This is a first time, this is another customer. He could send most of his order, not the whole thing, but he's following what we said. He's getting rid of his lower end cards. He's getting rid of, and we're going to talk about this later also, getting rid of his non-premium brand cards, using that to pay for his submission and get some money back. Now, this is a cool card. I love this card. It's not worth it, though. There's going to be a ton of them. There already are a ton of them. Okay, while we're between the two topics today, we have a good chunk of time here, probably five or ten minutes to talk about the next topic or the main topic of, the, of this episode. Sorry, guys, my allergies are actually killing me right now. So, what do you think of the market today? Last night on PWCC, we saw some crazy sales. We saw a Luca, Flaw a Luca Flawless of 5 RPA go for 350 grand. We saw the Judge Super go for over 300 grand. Right? We saw these crazy high sales. But, and it's tough with it. It's tough with this, right? But, like, we saw a Duncan Refractor PSA 10 go for 9600 bucks. That was 18 grand 2 months ago. Big drop in that. But PSA 9 Refractor of Duncan has gone from 1500 to 2000. Really weird. So, what do you feel about the market? What do you feel about the high end market more specifically? I mean, the low end market, I think we can all agree that it's time to start focusing on Better cards, the best cards that we could afford, right? 
you know, maybe your game has to be buying the $2 card, sending it for 25 bucks when it opens, and then using grain into consignment or selling yourself and getting 40 bucks back or 45 bucks back. And then you could use that to flow into more money to get higher end cards. Maybe that's how your game's going to work, right? Maybe that's how you're going to play it. That's how we played it to start, by the way. That's how we started it 10 years ago. Um, buying $75 lots, buying $80 lots, $100 lots, $200 lots, $300 lots and grading and, and flipping, right? That's how I started. But to me right now, I think we are in the cycle. I think we're coming back to a cyclical market. What makes me say that? These are all consignments still, by the way. Look at this. All this will be on our eBay PC underscore sports cards. If any of these cards interest you, if you like collecting these, like, there's nothing wrong with this card, right? It's a great card for a collector. PSA 9, cool looking card, superstar defensive player, great card for a collector. Great card to put into a PC of somebody. PSA 8, you know, again, great card for a collector. You can see this white corner down here and down here. Both white corners. You know that's not going to get a 10, guys. So that's what I'm saying. It's pretty obvious. I'm not zooming in. I'm not looking super close at these cards. I could just see it from a distance. Right? So what I'm saying is I think that if you believe in the market, cool card, if you believe in the market today and you believe that it's cyclical like I do, you're buying, right? This one is not going to consignment. Very tough grade. I just don't want to hit the button to take it off for one card. Um, hockey. If you believe in the market and you could afford it, it's a great opportunity to buy. I think we're seeing some big, big dips. I could tell you one of the cards I picked up last night was a Durant Refractor BGS 10. That card sold... And we're talking high end, right? Because to me, I make speculative or investment purchases, but I'm not buying low end. I'm getting fewer and fewer cards, but better and better cards. That's just how I do it. Um, this is not great into consignment. So that went for 19200 A month ago, it was 30000 Last year, it was 80000 And before the boom, before the prices spiked, it was, it was a $20,000 card. So I'm buying cards at pre-COVID rates right now. Actually, you know what? I could be wrong about that. It could be before the spike happened last year, right? But I'm buying them at those kinds of rates. I think those are great opportunities to make some money. And by the way, you don't need to have $20,000 to do it. You could find lower end cards. Like, again, we'll go back to that example that we showed before. So this is the last card from this consigner, by the way. And then we have another long-time consigner that's up next. Again, look at all these cards going to consignment. <coughs> you could find, um, you could find cards where you're not buying specifically high-end players or high-end cards, but there's there's opportunity for them to go up in value. I wouldn't be buying illusions, right? I'd be selling illusions. But, like, for example, we talked about before, the Jordan Alvarez purple. If you believe in Jordan Alvarez, like, a Soto purple Topps Chrome rookie is an $1,800 card. If you're speculating that Jordan Alvarez is going to be as valuable as Soto, for 200 bucks you can make that gamble. Hell, I mean, I know it's got a lower pop rate, but it's probably a relatively clean card. You could probably find a raw one for under 100 bucks. And if it's more of a long-term investment for you, you could stick it in the $25 rate when it opens. You don't need to send it in right now if you're long on Jordan Alvarez, right? To me, it's a speculative guy. You know, anything in the last five years to me is more of a speculation play than, uh, than a long-term play. But you could speculate on that kind of card. You don't need big money. It's just a good time. It's a good time specifically for football and basketball because we're at the end of the playoffs for basketball and football's over. And I don't talk about hockey a lot, but hockey probably a good time to start buying some of those guys. Um, but we're seeing major dips across the board. 
20, 25% dips across the board on some of these cards that for all intents and purposes will go back up. Yes, it's related to the stock market. Yes, it's related to crypto to a degree, right? All these things sort of work together. It's extra money that people have. It's discretionary risk asset income. There's a lot of other reasons behind it, right? There's a lot of things that lead up to it. Like all four corners are white. And it's off-center, top to bottom. Look how small versus how big. So you can see that. You don't need somebody to tell you. You don't need a tool to tell you that, right? So, again, that is why I think it's a great time to be buying football and basketball specifically. Baseball, we're in the heat of the market. We're in the heat of the season. might not be the best time to be buying it. All right, next up. So, again, he, this is still the same customer. What do you do with non-premium brands? We talk about this a lot. But let's look. Last year when this customer bought this card, it was $2 raw, right? They spent 15 bucks to grade it. And I looked at the PSA 10, which is right here, right? The two nines and a 10, which is not bad, right? The nine goes for about 40 bucks, 35, 40 bucks, and the 10 goes for 90 bucks. So great card to buy, right? You made a lot of money on that card. The problem is it's $50 to grade now. The problem is it might be $25 to grade. I think the biggest thing that we're going to see from, from the change in prices of grading is these non-premium brands may start to go away. There's two ways to look at that. I actually didn't come in planning on talking about it this way. But you can beat the market, right, by getting whatever absolute of whatever quarterbacks and get them graded and sell them. Like if you can get them in there, it's not worth $50. No chance. But at 25 bucks. You know that it's going to be a 10. Those rookies will probably be a couple bucks, and you'll probably get 40 or 50 bucks out of them. But you'll lose on nines. So you got to be, be careful. I am not recommending doing that. I'm specifically very, very clearly not recommending to do that. I don't think that's a good play. I think there's too high of a risk and too low of a reward. But you will get yourself low pop cards. And if somebody wants to collect every single to a rookie, every single... Trevor Lawrence rookie, you may be the only PSA 10 for a while, so you'll demand the you'll demand the premium for it. I don't see, see that as a long term solution to a problem. I don't think see that as a long term business business model if you're looking to speculate or grade cards. But short term, sure, why not make some money? Um, but long term, stick with Prism, stick with Select, stick with Optic, stick with. You know, Topps Chrome still a premium brand. It's just that there's a lot of it and it's easy to grade, right? Mosaic even maybe, you know. But I would definitely stay away from the lower end brands long term. Remember, I'm gonna most of the conversations that I'm gonna have with you are talking about long term, not talking about the short term flips, not talking about the quick speculation. That's not what I want to do. That's not what I like. I like long term long term moves. That's just more how my brain works. Long-term moves figure figure themselves out. Figure out a way to work. Got trout, trout, any trout. I I grade. I said this the other day. I grade almost any trout, almost any Brady. You know, the other guys not so much. Uh, so we've talked about a lot, and it's been actually a relatively quick video. We're almost at the end. Twenty minutes for this one. I like that. It's a good time for it. I think uh, the thirty-minute videos are a little bit long sometimes. So please. If you like this video, hit like. If you dislike it, don't like me, cool, hit dislike. I don't care. Um, if you agree, disagree, let us know. Make some comments. I'm happy to have the dialogue with you. You know, the dialogue is what makes people smarter, better, helps people out, right? You probably have a question that you might be a little embarrassed to ask, but somebody else probably has the same question. I may or may not have the answer. You know, and if we get enough people talking and enough people going back and forth, somebody else might have the answer. Remember to hit that subscribe button, click the little bell so you get alerts whenever we do these. We're going to try to do four videos per week. So this is uh, this is one of them, obviously. So the four videos are generally going to be in older order like this. Hopefully some better stuff. By the way, this is the poster child for, for failed cards. The absolute poster child for failed cards. Um, 
We're gonna do one video highlighting consignment items that are going up that are high end, super high end consignment items. One video showing an order that is going out to PSA so you could see what people are grading. And then another order, another video of at least one order of cards coming back from PSA that are that were sent in either Economy, Regular Express, or all of the above. So we see some of the, the plays that everybody is doing right now in the market. So have some more tops to end on. Some more of this was graded consignment. I just didn't hit the button again. I'm sorry about that. Taco Fall Gold Pulsar. I actually don't know if there were any serial numbered cards in this entire order. Wasn't really paying attention, but I don't think there were any serial number cards out of the 170 cards that were in this order. All right, guys, I really appreciate you watching and interacting, and I uh, look forward to posting the next one. Have a good day.